Hi, welcome to lecture 10 on basic inorganic chemistry. My name is Dr. Teresa Chimambam. For today's lecture, we will study ionic compounds and formation of ions from metals. What are ionic compounds? Ionic compounds are compounds that contain ions. They can be cations or they can be anions. These ions are formed when atoms gain or lose electrons. When atoms lose electrons, they are positively charged. And when atoms gain electrons, they are negatively charged. Metals have the propensity to lose electrons. And when metals lose electrons, they form cations and have an overall positive charge. So cations are positively charged. Non-metals, on the other hand, mostly accept electrons to form anions that have a net negative charge. So anions are negatively charged, while cations are positively charged. So metals form cations, while non-metals form anions. Hence, we can say that ions are formed when metals react with non-metals because metals always prefer to give out their outermost electrons. Non-metals prefer to receive these electrons for them to become more stable. We now look at formation of ions from metals. Metals give out their outermost electrons in order to have the number of valence electrons of the nearest noble gas. When metals lose electrons, positive ions result because the number of protons will be more than the number of electrons. So that's why it will have a positive charge. And group 1A metals, they usually form one plus ion. This means that they will give out one electron. Group 2A metals usually form two plus ion. This means that they will give out two electrons. Group 3A metals usually form 3 plus ion, which means that they will give out 3 electrons. Let's look at how sodium ion is formed. Sodium atom has electronic configuration 2, 8, 1. So it has one electron in its outermost shell. Sodium has atomic number 11, so it has 11 protons and 11 electrons. So positive and negative, we cancel each other. So the overall charge is then zero. But when sodium loses one electron that it has in its outermost shell, it will become sodium with a positive charge. And the electronic configuration will be two in the first shell and eight in the second shell. This electronic configuration corresponds to that of neon. So sodium with a positive charge has 11 protons and 10 electrons. Remember that protons are positively charged and electrons are negatively charged. So if you subtract them from 11, you will get one plus. So this is how we arrive at this charge for sodium. We don't usually put one. Whenever you see plus, it simply means one plus. Whenever you see negative, it simply means one minus. 
Let's look at another example. How K plus ion is formed. So potassium atom has electronic configuration 2881. So it has one electron in its outermost shell. Potassium has atomic number 19. So it has 19 protons and 19 electrons. So the overall charge for positive and negative is zero. Remember protons are positively charged and electrons are negatively charged. But when potassium loses one electron, it will become K plus ion and its electronic configuration will then be 288. And this corresponds to the electronic configuration for argon. K plus has 19 protons and 18 electrons because it has lost one of its electrons. So then if you do the subtraction, you will get one plus. So this is how this one plus, how we arrive at this one plus here. Let's look at how magnesium 2 plus is formed. Magnesium atom has electronic configuration 282. So it has two electrons in its outermost shell. Its atomic number is 12, so it has 12 protons and 12 electrons. So positive and negative zero. So the overall charge is zero for magnesium atom. But when magnesium loses two electrons, it will become magnesium 2 plus and its electronic configuration will be 2, 8. This configuration is the configuration for neon, which is a noble gas. So Mg2 plus has 12 protons and 10 electrons because it has already lost two electrons so then when you do the subtraction the overall charge will be two plus so this is how we got this two plus right we now look at groups in the periodic table that can form cations all group 1a elements form one plus ions Hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, they all form one plus ions. All group 2A elements form two plus ions. Magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, they all form two plus ions. All group 3A elements form three plus ions. Let's do some practice examples. What is the ionic charge for 13 electrons and 9 protons? So the answer for this is 4 minus. It has excess of 4 electrons. Number 2, 28 protons and 25 electrons. So the answer will be 3 plus. It has excess protons. Number 3, 22 protons and 25 electrons so the answer is 3 minus it has a set of 3 electrons let's look at more practice examples why does magnesium form a magnesium 2 plus ion the reason is because magnesium loses two electrons to have eight electrons in its outermost shell and to be like the nearest noble gas neon. Magnesium has electronic configuration, two electrons in the first shell, eight electrons in the second shell, and two electrons in its outermost shell. So when magnesium loses two electrons, it will have the electronic configuration two electrons in the first shell and eight electrons in the outermost shell and it will have the electronic configuration of neon which is a noble gas so in that way magnesium is 
more stable because it has completely filled outermost electrons. Remember that atoms are most stable when they have completely filled outermost electrons or when they have empty outermost electrons. Question two, why does oxygen form O2 minus ion? The reason is because oxygen gains two electrons in order to have eight electrons in its atomous shell and to be like the nearest noble gas, neon. This is the electronic configuration for oxygen. It has two electrons in the first shell and six electrons in the second shell because it has atomic number eight. So it needs two electrons to complete the eight electrons that it needs to have in its outermost shell for it to be stable. So when oxygen gains two electrons, its electronic configuration would then be two electrons in the first shell and eight electrons in its outermost shell. It would then have the electronic configuration of neon, and in this way, oxygen is more stable because it has completed the number of electrons that it needs in its outermost shell. So this is where I'm going to end for today's lecture. Please like this video and subscribe and I will see you in the next lecture.